Hey guys, it's Amber and welcome to day 29 of my December daily for 2022. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty far into it and playing around with some embellishment stashing. Um, having fun just really using up products with this album and this album has really been a lot of filling the page with stuff. Um, so I've got a really simple photo here of a Christmas tree mug with um, hot cocoa and marshmallows. This was the last marshmallow from my advent calendar that year. Um, it was like a Christmas tree with sprinkles on it and I thought that was really cute. That was on the 25th so that was a really fun surprise. And so I took a little clo uh, you know, close-up photo of it. It's funny because it's like Inception, it's on my desk because this is a photo shot on my desk. But anyway, um, printed it at eight and a quarter by 11. I was a little bummed because right at the very edge of my photo here, it popped out with a little black ink on it all over it. And that's been happening a lot lately. I'm not sure what is going on because the rest of the photo is completely fine, but I digress. Um, so I'm kind of mostly playing around with green embellishments. Um, this was from one of the more recent sticker advent kits. It's like a pleathery kind of sticker, but I like that it's not overly Christmassy, but it also starts with the hot cocoa. Um, so I thought that was kind of a great spot to fill space. The holes are going to be on this side of the page. Um, I've got, I'm just going to kind of show you what I've been pulling from. So this was the 2022 Paisley Press chipboard set. That's where this cup of cheer is from. This is a set of like girl puffy stickers from Hobby Lobby. That's where this is from. The girl has brown hair glasses and she's holding a cup of hot cocoa. So I thought that was adorable. There's a couple other cute ones here, like an ornament, like a Starbucks cup, uh, mistletoe, and um, like an envelope for Christmas cards, which is really cute. I forgot that I had these until I dug through my stash and then a gift. So I need to use these more because they're all really cute. Um, die cuts from, I want to say 2021. It's where this comfort and joy ornament is from. Um, puffy stickers from a previous kit. I'm not sure exactly which one. That's where this Eat, Drink, and Be Merry is from. Old chipboard set. That is where this, this story is so typical. I want to say 2021, maybe. Um, this is a Studio Calico kit. That's where this hot cocoa banner is from. This is the 2020. I think I bought extras of these. or I just Because I know I use these every year at some point in the album. So that is where the Eat, Drink, and Be Merry is here. I don't really care if it's double the sentiments. I was trying to pull another, it's kind, this is kind of like a creamy white, lightish green. This is white and this is kind of a creamy white. So I thought that kind of worked. Um, and then this is another Studio Calico set. This one just said Home Sweet, Sweet Home. It's not necessarily, I think it's wintry because there's a Christmas tree and a mistletoe and then the Home Sweet Home, but it was, it was just green. So that worked out. Um, this heart chipboard is from a Citrus Twist Kits chipboard set. So I cut that out. Um, and then this little sticker here is from a really old December Daily sticker set. It says, baby, it's cold outside with a little snowflake. I did consider using this wood December piece as like a base here, but it was like too much red because um, there's like red here and here and there's no other wood on the layout just didn't seem like the red i tried on purpose to stick with green so i am going to do a pop of red here which i'll explain in a second but it's going to be more minimal than like this with the wood so i decided not to go with that um i did consider originally this is what i was going to start with is these stars but i ended up not going with that um i am going to this is also a hobby lobby Puffy sticker sheet. They have some really cute sticker sets. Um, my previous day 28 layout, I used like a cat one or two cat ones. So I like to go, especially for their Christmas stickers, because they have really cute ones. But I bought these a couple years ago, maybe two years ago, and I've never used them yet. I think I'm going to go with um, this Baby is Cold Outside one right here that's green with a pop of red and then the marshmallows. Um, I liked the ones with candy canes, but I don't have a candy cane. And... I didn't want like too much competing pattern. So I think I'm gonna go with that one, but I haven't cut them out yet to like lay on there. The Joy one's also kind of cute, but I think the handle going this direction will fit better in that space. I am gonna probably pop this one up and use a little ribbon. So I still have to put that on. And then I have these stickers here from Pretty Little Studio. It says Vellamore stickers. 
um, but there's a word uh, chocolate right here. So I think I'm gonna put chocolate along the bottom here. And then there's even a little tiny one that says cup of cocoa. So I might put that like along here, like how that coffee is. I wish the word hot was on here because that would be really cute. But I don't think, just double checking myself. Yeah, there's no word for hot chocolate, but cup of cocoa will be cute kind of popped up there. And then I think I wanna do, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use these red ones. If not, maybe green. Um, I think I wanna actually spell out the number 29 just for something a little bit different. Um, and I think that would help, like, it's not gonna take up a ton of space, but I just thought 29 would look cute instead of me trying to find the numbers 29. Or I did consider using like the gold ones that come in, you know, the puffy sticker sets, but they're tiny. Um, so I kind of thought that would just be something a little bit different, kind of fun. It will add a little pop of red, like a good dark red. If not, I'll go with green but I was kind of worried it would get hidden too much with all the other green. So that's my plan. I'm probably going to, I think, stick these four down. That way I can make sure that when I'm applying my letter stickers, these don't move. And then I'll worry about attaching the rest of these after the fact. I'll probably use a ruler just to make sure that the letters are straight. Usually I'm pretty good, but this is like blank white space. Um, so I'll use like a ruler to make sure that it's straight, but that's pretty much it. I'm gonna just punch holes on this side. Um, I have this one popped over in the middle because it's in the, you know, not where the holes will be, so that's good. I'm debating if I'm gonna push this all the way to the top or just kinda let it float like a banner. So I haven't quite officially decided that yet. Um, but I really like this, it's cute, I'm getting really close. Just a couple more days of stories left and more and more stash busting. Love it, so I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, friends, just jumping in here real quick to show you how I did put these stickers on. Um, used my paper piercer there to help me move that in place. And I really like how it was velvet blended with the photo pretty well. You can barely see it. Um, so I'm going to use my, I think it's five by seven. I want to look at it here. Yeah, it's a five by seven. We are memory keepers magnetic tool. I have it saved in my links for you. Um, it's really ha handy though to have a nice small little magnetic set, but I was basically able to put the base under the photo and then use the magnetic ruler to hold my photo in place. And that kept the photo from sliding around so that I could put the Heidi Swap letter stickers on. Um, I spelled out 29 just to see uh, what it would look like and which letter would be centered. You always have to keep take into consideration the fact that eyes don't take up much room, plus there was the space. So I started with the Y, where I thought it looked like centered on the photo, and then there you can see I'm getting everything magnetized down. And then from there, I just started um, with the word 20 and went backwards, and then did nine. So I'm not gonna show you every single letter, I just wanted to show you how it looked. And then I'm gonna add ribbon and pop up foam squares to that comfort and joy tag. I pretty much skipped placing all the embellishments down because they're all just sticky back chipboard and I'll show you a live look here in just a moment once I'm all finished with this. Okay you guys, all finished, got everything glued down. I love how it came out. I did add a couple of little things uh, off camera once I got it all down and realized there's kind of some gaps. So I added some of these little heart chipboard stickers from an LA studio kit. Um, I just need a couple more pops of red another, and I didn't want them to be all red so I added green. And then I also found this light green from an old alley just help balance out this light green because it was the only one I had on there so it kind of felt like it needed something else and then because of that little ink droplet I had to shift it over just the tiniest bit I was hoping maybe it'd be short enough I could trim it but I didn't really want to trim off the side and have it look too uneven so I just added the teeniest little strip of this red and white candy cane washi tape I'm pretty sure this is how you swap from either last year or the year before, um, but I only used like a tiny little sliver, but I was debating between here, these three, this one just for green and a little pop, but I realized I was using so little of it, you wouldn't be able to see the design. And then this one I was also looking at because it kind of matches the color of the uh, font here, but it didn't really match this. And that's kind of what I was more reflecting on. So I was happy with that. This one, by the way, is Studio Calico, and these two are both Heidi Swaps. So, 
um, like how that came out and of just being a nice little pop of color on the end there. I had originally thought about maybe covering the holes and then repunching them, but just that little bit was plenty for me. So happy with how this came out and I can't wait to get the next couple days done and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.